First, one small step for man, one giant leap for robots. In a robotics lab in Pittsburgh, researchers ready the world's most advanced walking robot for an unprecedented experiment. An experiment that will show off fancy footwork never seen before in a humanoid robot. My name is Asimo. Honda has loaned one of its Asimo robots to a research team at Carnegie Mellon University's Robotics Institute. Dr. James Kufner and his PhD students Philippe Michel and Joel Chestnut to give them a crack at solving one of the biggest challenges in robotics, enabling a humanoid robot to decide where to plant its feet. When you see Osmo on television, most of those demonstrations are done that are pre-scripted or there might be a skilled operator using a joystick commanding the robot to move in a specific way. Our Osmo is specifically uh, given to us so that we can explore how to apply search-based techniques for autonomous footstep planning to allow a robot to decide its own motion rather than having to be told by a skilled operator how to move and where to move. The team has developed a computer program called a footstep planner. It runs on a computer in the same room and feeds instructions by wireless modem. The footstep planner allows Asimo to navigate toward a disc-shaped goal by stepping around or even over obstacles represented by paper shapes on the floor. An overhead camera relays the location of the obstacles, the goal, and the robot itself. The planner works by rapidly searching through thousands of possible steps, assigning costs to each step, costs such as the risk of getting too close to the obstacle. It can be tuned to take risks or play it safe. And there are risks here. One misstep could be disastrous for a robot that's estimated to cost a million dollars. So first, they tested the planner virtually in a computer world to work out the bugs. Then in the lab, they gave the planner increasingly complex challenges. First, with obstacles that didn't move, then in changing environments. This one was called the Frogger experiment because it looked like the classic video game. Asimo came through with high scores. Today, it's time to increase the difficulty level again. But first, to make sure everything's working properly, they give Asimo a task it's done before. So now Asimo is trying to reach this goal location, which I can move around in real time, and I can also change the environment to make it harder for him to reach that goal. And he will try to recalculate a path to reach the goal location, stepping over the obstacles. So here, he's chosen to come over here. I'll put something in his way. And so he has to think about it. And every time he takes a footstep, he's going to recalculate a new sequence of footsteps to reach the goal location without stepping on any obstacles. And he uses this camera up here to sense where the obstacles are. So now I'm going to move this goal over here. I'm going to change the environment around on him and force him to step over these obstacles. Now it's time to try something new. They call this the Indiana Jones experiment after the obstacle course scene in the movie Raiders of the Lost Ark. Asimo will have to find its way past a spinning obstacle and there is a risk that it might trip over the machinery that makes it turn. So uh, it's more dangerous. Uh, it's better to operate with the harness just in case uh, he, he, he trips over something. The footstep planner crunches numbers, weighs the risks, but all the time pushes Asimo toward the goal. It works. Now it's time to remove the safety measures and let Asimo go it alone. After all, autonomy is the long-term goal. So this is going to be the first time that we've run this experiment without the harness. We usually try to uh, be very cautious about safety, but uh, we've run it a couple times. It's worked flawlessly, and so we're going to run it here without the harness and uh, hope Asimo can navigate this treacherous scenario. And we are making robot history here as it navigates obstacles, that are moving and rotating, and it will autonomously decide how to traverse them. Beautiful. That's great. We've made robot history here. <laughs> great job, guys. The team decides to make it even more difficult with two rotating obstacles. 
I think this is more difficult than the previous test because there are going to be certain windows of opportunity in which both blades are in such a position that there will be enough open space for him to traverse, but then those open spaces quickly change as the blades are rotating at different speeds. So Asimo has to carefully reason about the timing of when he actually makes uh, his charge to sort of try to get through this obstacle field. Yes! Oh, that was great. <laughs> In the future, Kuffner wants to challenge his footstep planner with even more difficult tasks. He wants to develop programs for arms and hands that will allow robots to perform household tasks on their own. I believe that the way that the automobile has transformed society by allowing people to move freely, there'll be a similar revolution once humanoid robots have been uh, cheap enough to enter our homes, that people can afford them, and they'll be able to do tasks that uh, humans can do. But in the meantime, Asimo must put its best foot forward. Thank you, Asimo. Thank you very much.